Um, the next, the last step would be to create a PV plant on the SEMS portal. So um, what you can do from us is we can uh, give you a dealer code and then you can be uh, considered as an, as an administrator. And with an administrator account, then you can set up installer accounts for your installation team. So each installation team can have an account um, and every system that they install with their account, you will then be able to see. Um, and then they will set up the PV plants to ensure that the end users also have visibility of their PV plants. So um, it's not necessary that you have administrator account. Um, however, if you're participating in the Google Plus program, which is a program that gives you a number of benefits, such as um, a 10 year warranty for grid connect inverters from 700 watts to 20 kilowatts. Then once you've passed the Goodwe Plus training modules, we can then assign you a dealer code, which will then allow you to create these sub dealer accounts. Um, other things that you can do is you can also set up a separate O&M account, which then allows one of your colleagues to view all the plants that have been installed by your installers to monitor them, etc., to make sure that there are no faults, um, et cetera, et cetera. So how to create a PV plant. Um, so if you've already got a dealer account or if you've already um, do have an account, simply just log into the, um, into the uh, SEMS portal and then click on create plant. But I think this create plant is now located somewhere else. I really have to update the settings. Um, if you go to settings, I believe, then it will give you a um, um, the create plant button. Um, so once you've clicked on the create plant button, what you can do is then enter the email address of the owner here. So it's not your email address, but the email address of the end user. And then you can enter um, emails from visitors. So that could be family members of the of the end user or friends of the end user who um, who would like to see the performance of the, the system as well. Um, after you've done that, then essentially just enter a name for the PV plant, enter the capacity in terms of kilowatts, uh, enter the uh, select the right classification. So if it's for hybrid inverters, make sure that you select battery storage. Um, so this will show you the correct graphs on the PV plant overview page. Um, you can enter the financials. Um, so that's generally the cost of electricity for that particular end user. Uh, also, you can enter the number of PV panels also. Um, in terms of the location, what we do uh, to make it easier for you, you can click on the map button here, and then we'll bring up a, a kind of Google Maps um screen which will then allow you to drag and drop or enter the address of the end user and then select the location so once it's okay is it once it's correct then press okay and then confirm so this is important because on our sems overview we have a five day weather forecast so if you select the wrong region then it will show you the incorrect weather forecast for that in particular system so if you are a if you do have a dealer code, um, your dealer code should already be pre-populated in this. If the end user has already beat you to it and they've already created their own SEMS portal and created their own SEMS account, then you can ask them to enter your dealer code uh, into this field here so that you can also view the PV system. And then once you finish, click Submit, and that will have created the PV plan. Any new account, so if the, if, the, if the end user or the owner has not um, created the SAMS portal account up until now, we will create them, we'll create an account for them based on the email that you have entered with the initial password as Good Week 2018. So they can enter into the SAMS portal using this initial password and then they'll be asked to change that password and then they'll be able to see their PV plan that you have set up for them. Um, once you've uh, completed that part of the process, then the next is to add the actual inverter. So add the, uh, click on the add button and then enter a name for the inverter if you like. But what's important is the serial number 
and the check code. And the check code is a six digit number, which is located on the nameplate rating of the right hand side of the inverter. So enter the six number code. Every serial number has a unique check code. So make sure that you've entered the correct check code and then click submit. And then once you've clicked submit, it will then add it to the P, um, list of PV plants that are under your control. So once you've done that, you basically installed your hybrid inverter.